Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Thousands of pro-lifers rallied in Sydney Hyde Park, carrying banners and chanting slogans against a New South Wales abortion bill. The proposed bill would permit abortion until birth for any reason. Former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott, National Party leader Barnaby Joyce, Sydney Archbishop Anthony Fisher, and many other pro-life leaders spoke at the rally. Barnaby Joyce made it clear that any failure of the government to pass amendments viewed as essential by pro-life organizers and activists would not be politically forgiven, either now or at election time. Harvard-trained bioethicist Dr. Anna Wash urged politicians and protesters to protect the conscience rights of healthcare workers. She said that the current legislation is part of a plan to destroy their rights of conscience. Dozens of expectant mothers and their families attended the annual mass for pregnant mothers at St. Mary's Cathedral in Sydney. Auxiliary Bishop Tony Randazzo celebrated the Holy Mass while mothers, fathers, and their unborn children were blessed. After the mass, Many joined more than 4,000 others at the Stand for Life rally to protest the New South Wales abortion bill. The mass was organized by the Sydney Archdiocese's Life, Family and Outreach Center. Speaking at an annual solidarity dinner hosted by In Defense of Christians, Sam Brownback, the U.S. Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom, urged more prayer and action to continue supporting persecuted Christians in the Middle East. Brownback said the Christian faith is the most persecuted faith in the world. He said there are people who are being killed today because of their faith, and they are simple, good people who want to just, honestly, and peacefully practice their faith. In Defense of Christians is a Washington-based nonprofit organization that seeks to bring together people working to change the policies that threaten Christians in the Middle East and to educate Americans on the reality of the situation in the Middle East. Each year, the organization holds a solidarity dinner as part of its two-day National Leadership Conference. Young Namibian Catholics from all over the country gathered in the town of Rundu to celebrate Namibian Youth Day 2019. This special event was hosted by the Catholic Vicariat of Rundu. The opening mass was celebrated by the Bishop of Rundu, Joseph Shikongo OMI. In his homily message, he emphasized the importance of loving our fellow human beings. The young pilgrims were officially welcomed by the local civic authorities at the Rundu Sports Stadium, where various cultural performances and talent shows were conducted as part of the Youth Day celebration. Clarence House, the official office of the Prince of Wales, announced that Prince Charles will attend the canonization of Cardinal John Henry Newman at the Vatican on October 13th. He will attend a reception at the Pontifical Urban College following the Mass. Cardinal Vincent Nichols, Archbishop of Westminster and President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of England and Wales, said that he was delighted about the announcement. He said it was particularly appropriate that Prince Charles led the delegation. Blessed Cardinal Newman was an Anglican priest who converted to Catholicism while he was working as a teacher of theology at Oxford University. A delegation representing the Anglican Communion and the Church of England will also be president at the canonization. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord and may peace be with you always.